Hey everybody, wanted to do a channel update, stash ad, mail call, all in one video. Uh, one thing you might have noticed is I am starting to put my videos on at a certain day at a certain time. So I've been thinking of doing the Wednesday at 10.30 and Sunday at 10.30 schedule. That way you guys know when my videos will come out. <clears throat> the only problem with that is they're they're a little dated I guess when you get there I do have one video that is scheduled um, I think it's already for the 20th and today today is the 12th so it won't be the same day kind of videos uh, I've noticed when I get a little over bored and start having video after video I, I lose a lot of views so I think a lot of you guys don't get to see the videos so in this way it will keep you guys or make it easier for you guys to catch my videos what I should say um, because I don't want to have you guys miss it it's usually hard to go back once you miss a video it's hard to go back I'm in the same boat as you guys got a lot of videos out there a lot of people you want to keep up with and uh, see their builds so I'm going to do that schedule. I'm going to see how that works out. So far, it's been working out great. And I plan on keeping it that way. So, on to this episode. This one will be different. This one will probably air maybe on Fridays. Maybe I'll do shop updates and stash updates and anything like that. Anything special on a Friday at the same time, 1030. Seems like a lot of people get to, or watching videos at work or so on their lunch break or so at 10 30 so 10 30 seems to work for a lot of people i've noticed so this one will probably be on a friday on 10 30 and i'll probably keep it that way if i don't have a shop update there won't be a video on friday if there is a video it'll be on that day at the time unless i find a better day to put it on so with this one i want to do a shout out first I have four cards. These ones I've had actually for a while. It is Jeff at Treeline Model Works. Thanks so much for the card. I really like your builds. Your channel is great. It seems like you're a great guy. All the help you do for others. So thanks for the shop card. If you guys ain't subscribed to him, please check out his channel. It's well worth it. Well worth the time. And uh, the next one I got is Ernest at Spunky Model Shop pretty cool builds there another great guy through the community great channel a lot of great builds you won't be disappointed if you go and see that uh, one of the new guys to the uh, community I've seen a lot of people have his cards so a lot of people are starting to see him but again if you don't see it check him out he's got a lot going on there are two really cool builds on there it is the GI mechanic scale modeling Thanks for your service. He is a vet. And uh, Ed, attention to detail. He's another vet. He was a mechanic. He does a lot of other things in modeling. He's a little busy now. He's building a new house. So, I got that one big card. And he also has the little card. So, them are the new additions to that. Please check them guys out. Ed does cars and planes, so a little bit of everything. But right now, like I said, he's building a dream, building his own house. So congrats on that. Now, I'd like to uh, shift the attention to the kits in the background. Now, my girlfriend just got a new job and she decided to, to uh, reward me with plenty of uh, kits to build so she actually got me all these kits we went out the other day went to a hobby shop I go to probably once every three months so I'll go and check it out and they had all the kits I actually been looking online for and the prices were a lot better so when you find the prices better you just you can't complain you just get them and everyone I looked at she won't let me put it back so I can't get blamed for it so that's 
perfect in that way as well. So let me move the camera so we can look in better detail. There's so many kits here. I actually had to move out to the kitchen. So I had enough room. So I've seen these kits. They're I don't think they're that old of a release. 2018 but these are starting to get to the point where they're a little harder to find and I would like to build the ship to go with a some kind of rod um, I'm thinking of woody for one of them and then have the trailer hauling it but uh, you know just extra extra detail extra fun these kits I don't know if I'll save them for but they'd be great for the hour builds the 24 hour builds and all that stuff like that so I got the the Owens deluxe cruiser that's the first one of the ships here's the next one a 59 century this one I saw online and you know how online prices go super high this one was only like eighteen dollars and I don't didn't see them on many websites cheaper than that even near that price Plus then you gotta pay shipping, so I guess the time now is to get it. So that was a pretty cool classic cruiser. Now when you look at the the box, they always had a sticker on it with new and improved decals. Well the decal sheet is super small on those, so I don't know why they're making such a big fuss about it. Next one is a Citron 2CV. This one I am going to do this into the James Bond vehicle. I'm not going to do it the same way as after the chase scene, but it's going to look like it before. So it's just going to be that all yellow look. And then it's Revell Germany. So it's a pretty cool kit. Got some good detail to it. But I'll end up doing that kit for that. And uh, AMT is releasing out a lot of these Coca-Cola kits. So a lot of the older kits, they're just putting the Coca-Cola branding on it and stuff. I don't know if that's helping them get some of these older ones out. But this one does come with the uh, cooler and a couple of the, the bottles. So let's see if those are close to the top. So the bottles come in too, like a bluish green color. So you gotta paint the crate, then there's decals for the crate. And then you gotta paint, either make them full or make them empty. Since they're that nice blue color, I might just leave them empty, so that way I don't mess up the color of the glass. Make it so it looks like they might be returning them. And then there's that cooler in there. And I don't have a ranch, ranch arrow anywhere. I have a bunch of El Caminos, but I don't have the Ford Ranch Arrow. Another one in the Coca Cola group. What is this? A 41 Plymouth, yep. And it do not come with the Dolly. But I do have the pickup truck, the Cameo, I believe, has the dolly. So I can put that in there. And this one comes with four of those. But that's how it looks like when you when you get it all detailed and done. I figured this them things would actually be really cool on the diorama. So get those for that. Plus the car is pretty darn cool as well. Alright. More, more boats. Now this is that 3-in-1 by AMT. This one does come with the trailer already. So the trailer's already done on this. I believe it comes with a hitch as well. So I don't have to scratch build a scratch build the uh, uh, trailer and hitch and all that. I can just build it that way. It does have two motors inside of it. 
I think I am going with the, the old fashioned Lyman style boat. It's all wood. Around where I live, Lyman's were a big deal. Uh, so, it's always cool to see them. So, I figured I'd build one of those. The other ones are a little extreme. So, I build that instead. Halloween's right around the corner. I would like to build this before Halloween, but the Grim Reaper. Now, I've wanted this kit for quite a while, so when I did see it, it was one that I was going to get no matter what. I've always liked the Grim Reaper for Halloween. always like to have the decorations with them in there. But I figured that would be a great one to build. I don't know if I'm going to get to it in time. But I should have liked to. There's a lot in there. It's even got the grave headstones and everything. The tree. Give you an idea how tall he's going to be. And the base. A great kit. It comes with a clear hourglass when your time is up. And I do have, this is the last one, the Monster's House. This one's pretty cool. I am working on, I just started cutting them off the tree. I haven't really done much to it, but the Monster's Living Room set. I do have also the Monster's Card, the Dragula, and the Herman's Coach. So, they all will look pretty cool together. Now this one would be cool if you had a train set in HO scale, because this is done in HO scale. So I think that was pretty smart of them. A good scale to pick. If you did have a train set in that scale, that would be really cool. Have the monster's house in your, in your layout. So that would show you about the size of the house. It's not small by any means. It's going to be a good size house. So there's, there's the walls and everything. It does come with a clear set of windows all decorated up looking spooky as ever. Pretty happy about that. No, I have no art on the back. It's a shame. Give you guys a better look. But there it is. The uh, great stash ad that my girlfriend bought me. Can't complain about that. She feeds my addiction just as bad as I do. So, as long as I don't get blamed, I'm happy as I can be. So, thanks a lot for uh, watching. If you can, please check out those channels I showed you at the beginning. And until next time, I hope you have a great one, and I'll see you then. Bye.